Hi friends, I'm Dave Barklow, pastor of Fort Walton Beach First United Methodist. Welcome to the Pastor's Study, our daily devotional where we focus our mind on the things of God. We are going through the Gospel of Mark together. We find ourselves in Mark chapter 9. Jesus has just uh, taken James, Peter, and John up to the mountain and has been transfigured before them. Uh, they're coming back down the mountain, and when they come back down the mountain, there's actually quite a bit of a scene. So I want to, to read to you from Mark chapter 9, verses 14 through 29. When they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them, and some scribes arguing with them. When the whole crowd saw him, they were immediately overcome with awe, and they ran forward to greet him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak. And whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. He answered them, You faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. When the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often cast them into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us. Help us. Jesus said to him, If you are able, all things can be done for one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out, I believe. Help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You spirit that keeps this boy from speaking and hearing, I command you, come out of him, and never enter him again. After crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and was able to stand. When he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, this kind can come out only through prayer. There is a, a whole lot going on in the scripture. And I'll be real honest with you. There's a whole lot going on in this scripture that I don't understand. I'm not exactly sure even what Jesus means by that, that final statement about this kind only comes out through prayer. Uh, had the disciples not prayed enough? Had they not prayed hard enough uh, that this boy would be delivered from this, from this evil spirit? Uh, I, I don't know exactly what that means. It, it's obvious, though, that this boy had been undergoing horrible things since he was little. And this family had been undergoing horrible things since this child was little, uh, to the point where they are worried that this child was going to die, cast into the fire, cast into the water, that something, some evil was trying to destroy this child. And this father, in some desperate attempt, brings his son to Jesus. And he says, if you are able, Jesus. And Jesus is like, if you are able, I'm, I'm, I'm Jesus. It, you will see what is capable if you believe. And, and the father utters a statement that if I don't understand anything else in this whole story, I understand this statement. The father says, I believe, help my unbelief. I don't know about you, friends, but that's how I feel sometimes. I feel like I believe in God. I, I believe in Jesus. But I might should believe, I wish I believed a little stronger. I wish I believed a little harder at times. I wish maybe it affected my life a little bit more. I, I wish maybe it kept me from sinning more. I, I believe, but I want to believe more. I want my actions to back up my belief. I, I want my values to back up my belief. I, I want my whole life to back up what I believe. Because I do believe, like Jesus says, amazing things are possible for him who believes. So let's believe. Let's look to Jesus. And let's watch Jesus. And let's see all the good that Jesus does. Because I truly believe if we ask Jesus to help our unbelief, he will. Remember, friends, I love you. Take care of yourselves and shine the light of Christ.